Hey everybody, it's Natalie Barnes here from Beyond the Reef Patterns. Welcome back to Stitch. You're right, we've taken a hiatus, but we listened to you and we have retooled. We've shortened our format a little bit and we're gonna be working on the tools, tips, and techniques and tricks that will help with all of the quilting and the projects that you're working on. We're gonna start with a series on color. So welcome back to Stitch. Let's get started. Let's start by building a color wheel. We're going to start with the primary colors. We've got blue, red, and yellow. As if we were mixing paint colors, if we were to mix this yellow and blue, we would have green, we would have orange here, and we would have purple here. These are your primary and your secondary colors. If we were to take this one more round and we started mixing again, we would have a turquoise in here between these two, a purple in here between these two, a salmon -y color in between our orange and our red, a red violet here between our reds and our purples, again, a yellow orange, and one of my favorite colors, this acidy green, which would be our yellow green. These would be your tertiary colors. So your primary, your secondary, and your tertiary colors. When you start quilting, quite often what you'll start with is a project for a friend. I'm gonna make Kate a quilt, and I'm going to make a quilt using her favorite color, which is blue. I'm gonna use blue for the skies and puffy little white clouds for the contrasting colors, blue and white. And so this is a monochromatic color scheme. You are using all of the different shades of blues. You are going to use the tints, which is adding white to the color blue, and the shades adding black to the color blue. And you have all of the lights and darks and all of this being blue. Now, Kate comes back from her vacation it's her birthday, you wanna make her another quilt since she liked her first quilt so much. And so she's been out sailing along the ocean and she's been through the islands, she's seen so many different colors of water, and so you decide you're gonna make her a quilt with all the different colors of the water. And this ends up being an analogous color scheme. It's not monochromatic, it's not just one color, but it's analogous as in adjacent to on the color scheme. I think what you'll see also is in the quilt behind me. This is a Latifa Saphir design quilt that was executed by uh, Nicole Morris and quilted by Teresa Silva. That she has used analogous color schemes here and here. But you'll notice something else. These are the warm colors and these are the cool colors. Let me show you that in a different format. These are headers for Island Home Fabrics from Anthology Fabrics. These are fabrics that I designed. Eee, squeal. These are the warm colors. Warm colors being colors of the sunshine and the sunset, anything related to something that's going to be hot, fire, candles, anything like that that's warm. And then these are your cool colors. This is gonna be ice, this is gonna be water, this is gonna be anything shade that you think of as cool. This also happens to have a series of neutrals. But even your neutrals, as you well know, if you've tried to pick out a gray, that all grays are not gray. Sometimes they're warm grays, sometimes they're cool grays. So warm and cool colors also play into picking colors for your projects. Next session, we're going to talk about how to go back to your color wheel here and pick out some different color schemes using your color wheel. If you'd like, make your own color wheel. This is a pattern from the book A Modern Twist, and all of the information about the fabric and the book or some of the patterns that you've seen today will be in the description below. I hope you're enjoying our new format, shorter, sweeter maybe. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. And if you like it, we'd love to see you subscribe. Thanks so much, from my home to yours. Mm -hmm.